Good morning and happy Friday. Happy May 1st, by the way. Today we are going to review 11.3, sort of identifying our, our 3D shapes, our polyhedron, our polyhedra. Um, we'll have a quiz when we come back next week over this, and then we will start surface area and volume of these polyhedra. So you're going to need to know how to find the area of a regular polygon again. So we're going to need to know that one half apothem perimeter. And I, I'm pretty certain that you guys are going to need to revisit um, finding that apothem length with tangent or sine, tangent or sine, depending on whether you're given the side length or the radius. So you're definitely going to need to review that. Um, but first thing we want to do is classify as polyhedron or not a polyhedron. Then we're going to name the figure if it's a polyhedron. So what we're looking for is straight flat sides. We don't want any curved sides that would make it not a polyhedron. So first one here, are all these sides flat? Well they are, so that's a polyhedron. And how we're going to name this is we're going to look at the non-rectangular sides for a prism. And it's a pentagon. So since this has rectangular sides, it's a prism. And the base is a pentagon. So it's a pentagonal prism. If it had triangle sides, so if these sides were triangles, then of course it would be a pyramid, just like we see here. In number two, I've got a pyramid. All these sides are triangles. And since all these sides are flat sides, there are no curves, then it is a polyhedron. We already know it's a pyramid because it comes to a single vertex up top. All these sides are triangles, except for the base, which is a rectangle. I don't know if that's a square because it doesn't have any markings, so I'll say it's a rectangular pyramid. It could be a square pyramid, I'm not sure, but I can say for certain that it is at least a rectangular pyramid. Number three, I've got this curved side so it is not a polyhedron. I don't need to name that. Number four, this is all curved. So all of this is curved. So it's not a polyhedron. Number five, all these sides are flat. So what kind of shape is that? Well, it's a polyhedron. Specifically, is it a pyramid or a prism? Well, it's a pyramid. And how do I name pyramids? I'll look at the base and I'll see what kind of shape is the base here. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So six sides, it's a hexagon or a hexagonal pyramid. And this one can get kind of tough in number six. So I know it's a polyhedron because it's all flat sides. But what's the base? Is this a rectangular prism? Is this a rectangular pyramid? What am I looking at? Well, these are not all coming to a single vertex, so it's not a pyramid. It must be a prism.
And now I'm going to look at the non-rectangular sides. So here's a rectangle. I don't really care about that. That's not helping me name this. Here's another rectangle. Also not very helpful. And here's a third rectangle. Not helpful at all. So these two bases, these two non-rectangular sides, are both triangles. So since they're both triangles, this must be a triangular prism. Always look at those two bases to tell you what kind of prism you have. And these last three flat sides, not flat sides, I've got you know, a very rounded shape here, and these are all flat sides. This does not come to a single vertex. It doesn't come to a single point. So this is not a pyramid. It must be a prism. And I'm going to look at these two bases, these two non-rectangular sides here. Well, I'm not going to say non-rectangular because they are rectangular. But these two parts are congruent. Those are my bases, so this must be a rectangular prism because the two bases are rectangles. Now I've got my last problem here, these non-rectangular sides, two of them in my prism. These two shapes are both pentagons, so this is a pentagonal prism, or a pentagonal prism. Okay, so we need to know that. We're going to look at some cross sections. So here, what I want you to do is just name the shape, name the 2D shape. So look at the dotted lines. What kind of shape is being made by these dotted lines? And I'm just shading these in to help you out a little bit. So in number five, I've got a square or a rectangle. It doesn't have any markings on there telling me the sides are all congruent. So I can't assume square. I have to say it's a rectangle. Number six, that's definitely a triangle. And then I've got... Oh, those are out of order, those numbers. Sorry about that. Got a pentagon. Dotted lines here. And number one. And I'd like you guys to try two, three, and four. Pause the video and then come back once you've written those down. So two is a rectangle. Three is a circle, and four is a, let's see, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, six, that is a hexagon. And our very last two problem types, talking about what, what do I get if I rotate this around, so if I rotate this around that, that dotted line. We do the same thing back here. And what shape did I get? Well, it's a cylinder. Not a polyhedron, but still a shape we should know. Um, this one, number two, why don't you spin a coin? You know, take a take a penny and spin it and see what kind of shape do you get? You get a sphere there. And these last two I'd like you to try. Number three, you get a cone. And four, what do I get if I spin a rectangle? If I spin a rectangle, I get a 
cylinder, just like in number one. And last but not least, looking at faces and edges. Faces are, again, these 2D shapes. So you want to identify how many of these. And what you can do is you can look at the base to help you out. So how many triangles do I have? Well, I've got one coming off of each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six triangles. But I can't forget about this hexagon base. So plus one base gives me seven faces. And number six, how many edges does this have? I'm looking for these straight lines. So one, two, three. Dotted lines count as well. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine edges. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And uh, we'll see you for the quiz when we come back next week. So stay healthy, and we'll see you then.